Dr. Till, you are currently evaluating the Centimax system for Sentinel lymph node localization in your clinic. What was your reason for testing this new system? The technique we are currently using needs a fair amount of preparation time. Having a technique at our disposal that can be used directly in the operating room is certainly motivation enough as we can cut that preparation time. The other motivation is that we know there are occasionally problems with the radio tracer. This means the radio isotope we use is not always kept available. I remember several occasions where we were unable to do any radioactive marking as the tracer was simply not there. Soon you will be finalizing the Central European Centimax study. What have your experiences been with the system so far? The system is certainly very easy to handle. In principle, nothing changes. We have a probe which we use in the operating room with which we look for the sentinel node. We read the signal on a console, a signal we can also hear, so you don't have to adapt much. I have to add that, in my opinion, the detectability of the lymph nodes is at least as good or maybe even better as we can identify the sentinel nodes one by one thanks to the absence of stray radiation, inevitably connected to radioactivity. In contrast, each lymph node stores the magnetic particles individually and can therefore be detected precisely and then removed. I believe the advantages are fairly clear. We now have a technique we can use directly in the operating room. This means the patient does not have to be prepared at all. They do not have to come to the clinic the day before, and they do not have to have an injection, which of course they notice. Nor do they have to have a scintigraphy. We all know nothing may show up on it, so that the patient has to come back again. Basically, the patient turns up to the operation and everything that needs doing, including the marking, is done under anesthesia. What can I say? It's a great technique. It takes almost no time and has a flat learning curve. Without revealing too much, the results have been great so far. Importantly, if the data proves consistent, this will probably become the new standard. In that respect, I am highly optimistic.